Angie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Angie. Um, I, just, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I don't want to, it's going to be a busy week, you know, so I don't want to take too much of your time. <laughs> Here's what, uh, where I'm at. Um, it's Church's Chicken and Johnny Scoville is not going to be a good fit. It's not going to work out. Um, here's why. Um, it's, it's just not. I, I think you need somebody a lot more squeaky clean than me. I have a squeaky clean record, but I have a book deal I'm writing right now. And when this book comes out, you're going to read stuff that you are. I'd rather separate now than you tell me six months from now you don't want to work with me because you don't have it in you to tolerate the kind of stuff that you're going to be reading. I'm a good guy now, but you don't have it in you. And so it's not going to be a good mix. I want you to know, I appreciate you, Kelly. Angie, you're wonderful. Joe's been amazing. Kat's been wonderful. Every, my entire experience with Church's Chicken has been incredible. I want you to know that. But it's just not going to be a good fit. I want to thank everybody for, for even considering this. And I wish you guys the best moving forward, all right? Okay, well, I mean, I appreciate you um, giving us your time. I just want to reiterate that we just, um, Kelly and I were just talking, we just feel so just sad about these stupid internet trolls. Well, that's the thing. Let me tell you, it's interesting. I I sent you an email. If you don't think, if you don't think Hulu and Disney and High Noon Productions, and when they found out who the individuals were in High Noon Productions, them individually got barraged by trolls. But you know what they, like I said in the email to Kelly, they chalked it up as internet trolls. You guys can't do that, and I get it. But if you think what you've heard so far is troubling, the book I'm, that I have a book deal I'm writing right now, and it's far, far more than you're going to be able to tolerate. I promise you. I am squeaky clean now. And I, I mean, I'm the national spokesperson for Harvest 912, which is an outreach. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm a good guy now, but I wasn't always a good guy. And there's, there's, I, I just know I'm, I'm the author. I'm writing this book. And I know what you've seen in emails and what this book is going to be so much. It, I'm just telling the truth. And so it's just better that we separate now. And I'm sorry that this happened, um, but it's just not going to be a good fit, you and me. I wish you the best, yeah. and I appreciate your time, I though. Know, I totally agree with that. And I just, um, you know, I think, you know, in a response to, like, Hulu and Disney, I think I probably, you know, could have been the one that was you know, we could have, like, anticipated those coming in, but we really we probably look at hindsight as 2020, right? Like, just having that set-up call of, like, okay, guys, just to, to let you know. That well, here's the thing. Really it, it's I should have, the second, the, you know, I, when I first started talking with uh, Kat about doing the commercials when she reached out to me, and I gave them some ideas from commercials that they were interested in, I didn't have yeah. this book deal. I didn't have this book deal. And the book deal is really important because it's a book about redemption. And I know that people are going to be helped from it. So I, what, I'm faced with this. I can kind of see what transpires with Church's Chicken, or I can write a book that's really important that can reach people, um, knowing that it's going to it'll sabotage your relationship with you guys. And it would. You guys are just, you, you don't have it in you to handle reading that and then even being in the same room with me. I promise you, you don't. So I appreciate you guys. Pass my greetings on to everybody. Joe's been wonderful. You guys are all great. I do wish you guys the best, but uh, we will part ways now. I appreciate it. But I just want to let you know we're still a huge fan of you. Oh, I appreciate that. We are so glad that you're still a fan of us, and we will always be rooting for you. And um, we were, you know, Joe really enjoyed meeting you. Oh, Joe was like, great. I really his, enjoyed him. Like, his kid, like, likes watching your videos. So, like, we're just, like, I, like, freaked out because I was like, oh, my God. I have Johnny Scoville on my phone. Like, I was like, <laughs> Well, you should they, make sure, listen, make sure if they care about me at all, just don't, if, if they have a strong spine, they can read the book I'm writing. If they don't, urge them not to read the book. Because, um, seriously, I'm, I'm a very good guy. I'd like to say I'm, a, I'm proud of the person I am today. Um, but well, that's that's good, and uh, we and we do support that as well, and you know really appreciate the honesty and transparency. And I just you know want to reiterate, you know, Angie, like working with you over the past few weeks has been lovely, and you, um, you know we wish you all the best, okay. and we will follow along and and root you along. We we will be positive trolls. Um, yeah, you know, we'll be. <laughs> so, you know we'll what? I things, I appreciate that. Things. Thank you so much. But there's no such thing as a positive troll. You ladies have a wonderful day <laughs> take care right. bye-bye right. this book is more important and they don't have the spine to handle it 
I'm Johnny Scovel, and that was me firing Church's chicken. <laughs>